And I know when we started our first month, how much did we do in revenue? Yeah, so when we transitioned from like our liquidation to our uh, board tech business, um, at the first month was $116 that we did. And then walk us, you know, from each month after that. Yeah, so the first month it was $116. Second month it was $2,000. Month after that was $8,000. Next month, $12,000. The next month after that was 16,000. Next month was 19,000. The next month after that was 20,000. And then the final month for that year was $26,000 then that month. We didn't have a full year, but I know we ended the year of 2019. That's when we started. We ended with 105,000 in revenue. Yeah, so yeah, when we transitioned to that, yeah, it was a uh, 105 for that day, for that year. One of the main reasons why we got to that level was because of our prior experience. We already knew how to deal with Amazon, eBay, Etsy, the other marketplaces, our logistics. We already had the work ethic. So we, we kind of had a lot of things going to us. We had years of experience that kind of like allowed us to make that income. Yeah, and so kind of like just how Hormozzi says it, Alex Hormozzi says it, pretty much the skills that we had gained, it just like the skills that we had accumulated throughout the time, it just piled up and that's how it started taking off. So that's, yeah, that's pretty much how it happened. So that was 2019. Now let's move on to 2020. So just to give a rough idea, in 2020, we hit 700K in revenue. So we made that jump of 2019, we did 105,000 to 2020, we kind of like multiplied it by seven times, six, yeah. seven times. So let's just walk through 2020. Yeah, so 2020, we had 700K. I remember we were renting us like a small office. And then, uh, you know, as there was growth, we started, we, we knew that we had to kind of uh, get a bigger place. And so we got, um, I think, a 2,000 square foot office in Huntington Park. And so, yeah, it was just pretty much doing the same thing, listings, images. And so it was a lot of the things were repetitive, but we knew what to do based on our previous knowledge and experiences. And so it was just constantly of the same thing. And, and at that point, I think we also got our first hire for Boger Tech. And so, yeah, we just repeated the same thing the whole time. And then come 2021, that was the year we finally hit seven figures. In revenue, yeah. In revenue. Uh, yeah, so honestly, like there wasn't nothing special. We weren't trying to like, it was just continuous, like doing the same thing listing new products fulfilling good customers good customer service and so we did a lot of that and it just naturally grew and then 2021 pretty much same thing i don't think nothing changed nothing changed uh that year i think we had 1.8 right yeah we had 20, 1.8. Uh, yeah but then at, at that time there was also like you could say we, we kind of got lucky in that sense where we were in the right market mm-hmm that in the e-commerce space where people couldn't go out anywhere and they just had a lot of excess money that was yeah. coming in. They didn't have to pay the rent. And mm-hmm. on top of that, they were getting like $4,000 extra a month. People were getting cars. And especially when you live like on a paycheck to pay, like your mentality is like paycheck to paycheck and you get a, some excess money. I think it's hard to control like, cause you come from experience of like not having to having something. So I think the lack of experience, like it, it forces you to spend in a sense. But yeah, and so a lot of people had excess money. We were online, people were shopping online. And so our business just pretty much doubled it doubled over, uh, overnight 